hey my beautiful friends welcome back to my channel my name is nidhi i get every week makeup and cosmetic related videos and this one is a special one because it is for the upcoming indian weddings this is a classic indian makeup look where i've used a lot of kajal or coal and smoked it out kept the colors neutral so it can work with any color outfit and with a beautiful nude lipstick which could be replaced with any other bold color lipstick you like if you're interested to see this look keep on watching so let's get started all right the skin these days is behaving little better but i have still the acne scars and scabs so i'll be covering all this and giving a flawless base for the flawless base first thing is to prepare your skin so preparing will be done using this l'oreal hydra gel moisturizer this is a aqua or a hydra water based gel formula so it's light on your skin it won't clog your pores you can go generous on the amount to moisturize your skin after moisturization now you will need a tape to create a clear winged eyeliner whenever you're going to use any kind of tape you will cut a piece and stick it on the back side of your hand what this will do it will take extra glue from this tape and whenever you'll apply on your face it won't be as harsh as earlier now the way to apply this tape will be from the waterline on the lower side it will go upwards towards your eyebrow creating a vertical line and the only eyeshadow you would need will be in the tones of brown i'm using juvia's place eyeshadow palette i've taken a small fluffy brush and i'm just putting the color across my crease line so that i get an elongated look there will be two steps for the eyeshadow in this look first i've taken a matte brown which i'm using it on the crease line and also the outermost edge of my eye so that i get a beautiful matte base and then after this we'll be using a shimmery shade but the shimmery shade would come later on after the application of the coal eyeliner or kajal whatever you call it now you would need a clean fluffy brush with no product on this you'll just work on the edges of this eyeshadow where you applied to soften up and make them seamless after you're done with this we'll need a black kajal this is from mac cosmetic and i'll curl my upper eye and create a beautiful wing now this is the most easiest way to create a wing i like because of the tape you'll get a crisp edge of the eyeliner it will be absolutely equal and no mess once we are done with drawing the eyeliner we'll need a smudging brush to just smudge the eyeliner now to smudge the eyeliner i've used a black eyeshadow if you don't have a black eyeshadow don't worry you have two options one you can use this eye look as is without smudging or if you have a gel eyeliner you can use the gel eyeliner to, to make it look smudge smoky whatever you call once we are done with this we'll do the same thing on the other eye and be back until i'm back just answer in the comment section isn't it a easy look okay now i pick the shimmery shade which we were talking and i'm placing it from the innermost corner to mid of my eyes so that i get a elongated look and after this i've used the lightest shade on the same palette to highlight my innermost corner and the eyes will start looking something like this now using the same eyeliner pencil from mac which we used in the upper lid will color our lower waterline and now the same old brush which we used to smudge the upper eyeliner will smudge the lower one and as i said this is a classic indian look so we will smoke the waterline little more than usual so that we get an indian goddess kind of a look and the eyes would start looking something like this once you smoke the lower waterline with a black eye shadow or a gel eyeliner now is the time to remove the tapes to show you how clean crisp the edges are and here we go so the eyes will start looking something like this use a cotton bud for any fallout and or anything on your face to clean it no eye look is complete without doing your eyebrows i'm using nyx cosmetics eyebrow pencil to fill in my eyebrows near to natural the drill is same brush down your eyebrows fill in the sparse area and always try to keep your eyebrows near to natural otherwise there are high chances that you would start looking masculine and then you would say oh my god so this is what you have to do when you're working on the front area of eyebrows or the starting of your eyebrows always draw hair like strokes so wherever your hair direction is for the front area draw in the same way after you're done with coloring your eyebrows or filling in the sparse area take the spoolie and well blend in the color so that it looks flawless my girls 
so let me complete the eyebrow on the other side offline and be back okay now the eyes would start looking gorgeous like an indian goddess now for the eyelashes i'll prepare them offline and use a false lashes so this is the end of all the steps for the eyes other than just highlighting your brow bone eyes are gonna be the focal point of this makeup yet a very simple makeup i've taken the same lightest shade which i've used to highlight my innermost corner i'm using it to highlight my brow bones and just a little bit of blending here and there to get a perfect look for the upcoming indian weddings and the eyes are done now the face makeup for the base makeup i'll not be using any primer today i'm using a face mist and when in trouble or your skin is not behaving well you want a full coverage use urban decay's all nighter this is a full full coverage foundation yet it won't look cakey on your face and everything will be covered the way i'll be using this foundation or blending this foundation is with a buffing brush it's from tat cosmetic and i'll buff this into my face if you notice i'm not at all swiping the foundation i'm just buffing it into my skin swiping no 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 buffing yes yes yes, yes. so just buff this into your skin so that every imperfection is concealed and from conceal i remember we have to use a concealer this concealer is from tarte cosmetic uh, called creaseless again with the same trusted blending brush we'll blend this in and i'm just blending it when i'm blending again i'm using the buffing action i am using this concealer a little bit lighter than my skin tone as a highlighter after i'm happy with the blending i will show you what i did next i am using this too faced cosmetics bronzer this is such a gorgeous bronzer and this is such an awesome brush from it cosmetic if you can get hold of this brush do get it i'm just using it on the usual areas hall of the cheeks jawline little bit on my perimeter of face i did forget i didn't set my concealer so somewhere or other where the concealer actually creased i made it even and then i'm using this translucent powder from it cosmetic to set my concealer i'll be baking it today when you say baking and makeup it means you leave the powder on your face for a while and then you work on the other steps while the powder is sitting on my skin i'll work with the lipstick this from anastasia beverly hill desert rose a beautiful nude pink and what baking does if you bake your makeup baking will ensure your makeup doesn't move anywhere for hours and hours and after baking just wipe off the excess powder and now i'll be using a mac cosmetic mineralized formula for blush why i said a mineralized formula because they are highly pigmented they are matte formulas and they stay on with you for hours and hours you can go ahead dance in weddings and be back the blush would stay there after you are done with the blush you can go a little more and it's a wedding right and you can look gorgeous the time comes for the highlight the most trusted brand for highlight is anastasia i'm using anastasia glow kit to highlight my high points of the face as usual and after i'm happy with the highlighter i am happy only when someone can notice my highlighter from the moon that i'm glowing this is the level of highlighter i can use i can go actually crazy with my highlighter now is the time to set everything in place and let it dry and yes i am back isn't it a gorgeous look easy look you can wear it absolutely with any color of outfit any kind of outfit and by now you know what you have to do you have to give me a like and subscribe if you loved my video and until we meet next just keep on practicing looking gorgeous take care bye bye